Howdy. Today we're going to be looking at uh, changing and flushing the coolant and the coolant system on a Holden SP Barina. So these also come as other variants in the world like an Oval Corsa or a Vauxhall Corsa. They have the C14NZ engine. They're really unique in their coolant system design in the way that both the inlet and outlet pipes of the radiator are very close to the top and they're almost parallel. So you can see there the right hand side hose is right at the top of the radiator. It's actually higher than the radiator. And the left hand hose, that's it down there. Okay, it's down from the top about three inches. So you have all this tank. And the whole block, which is below those hoses. Right? So if you just take a hose off the radiator, or even if you drain the radiator from the bottom, you're going to have very little coolant come out. So which makes it very, very difficult to drain the coolant out. But I'm going to show you a super easy way to do it, an alternative way. It's going to take us about 20 minutes to complete, so there's really no excuse to not have nice, fresh coolant in your SB Barina. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, obviously make sure the system's cold. We don't want to be working on coolant systems that are hot and under pressure, for obvious reasons. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just locate this hose here. Now this is the expansion hose that leads up to the header tank. Okay, what we're going to do is just want to take it off the radiator. So just unclamp him, and then remove it. Okay, and we're just going to put it up here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is fit a half-inch double-ended barb into this hose. Just going to push him in there like that. Right. And on the other end of this, we're going to put our fresh water feed, which is from our garden hose. Just like this. Just going to push it on. Helps if you put the garden hose in the sun for a little while. There we go. Alrighty. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the clamp back around here, like that. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is get another piece of garden hose and put it on the expansion outlet on the radiator. I'm just going to push on there like that. That's going to be our flushing outlet. And we're just going to run that into a bucket. Alright, so what we do now is we turn on our fresh water tap, and that's going to send nice fresh water through this line up into our header tank. It's going to fill the header tank up, it's going to flush the whole engine out in the radiator, and it's going to come out our drain hose here into our bucket. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, here comes our old water and coolant. And we can see it running out there. Now what we can do now is start the engine, okay, and that's going to circulate the water through the whole system. You just keep running it until the water goes clear. Okay. So once we have the water running nice and clear, that means our whole engine block, the radiator, the whole system has been flushed. So now we can turn off the engine. Now 
and then we turn off our tap. Now because the lines are still connected and I have them draining, what it's doing is sucking all the water out of the system. Because of the vacuum created, you can see it here in the header tank. So do not take the cap off, we want to keep that vacuum in the system to drain some of the excess water out. Alrighty, so once it's done siphoning, now we can disconnect our garden hoses. So that's the flush completed. Now what we do is we just reconnect the header expansion tank back onto the radiator. Now we're ready to put our coolant in, so that's just a matter now of undoing the top on the header tank. And because of our siphoning, there's enough room now for our coolant. Now what you need to remember with this, because the whole system is full of fresh water, except the header tank, and a little bit in the drawdown tubes, you have to use a very highly concentrated coolant. So never use a premix, always use concentrate. So now pouring your concentrated coolant of choice, fill it to about half an inch above the seam. Alright, so we're almost done. So what I'm going to do now is just back the cap off half a turn. I'm going to start the engine and we're going to fully prime the system. What this is doing now is it's circulating all that new coolant into the fresh water, making sure there's no air leaks. Because we've already primed the system with fresh water by the hose, and the drawdown is on the header tank on this model, it's very, very hard to get air leaks. It makes it very, very simple to boil. So we're just going to run it until the engine gets hot, until the fan comes on, and make sure the coolant is still at the level. Screw the cap up and we're all good. So just let it run until, it, until you get to normal operating temperature. Okay, so it's up to normal operating temperature now. So what we can do is tighten up the header tank now. Put the system under pressure and just run it until the fan comes on. Okay, so there goes the fans. So we're just gonna let them cycle on and off. And then we're gonna shut the engine off. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to shut it off. So there we go. We've effectively flushed, serviced, and refilled the coolant system on this C14NZ. We've checked the operation of the fans and everything. It's all prime, ready to go. 
So all we need to do now is just check for leaks now that it's hot and under pressure. All looks good. And finally check the level of that coolant. A good way to do that is just to shake the car up and down. And as long as it's above the seam, which is the full mark on the expansion tank, she tapples. So there it is. Cool. Obviously check it again once it's cold. So excellent. We're done. So that's how fast it is to fully service a coolant system on SV Barina. We've got nice fresh coolant now. It only takes about 20 minutes to do. And we overcome the problem of the radiator hoses and being able to drain it properly. It's very, very simple, so you have no excuses. So get to it. Cool, guys. Thanks for watching.